Australia on Saturday decisively rejected a proposal to recognise Indigenous people in the Constitution in a major setback to the country's efforts for reconciliation with its first peoples. Australians had to vote yes or no in the referendum on the question of whether to alter the constitution to recognise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people through the creation of an Indigenous advisory body, the Voice to Parliament. Australia's Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese. At the outset, I want to say that while tonight's result is not one that I had hoped for. I absolutely respect the decision of the Australian people and the democratic process that has delivered it. Australian media projected that at least four states would vote against altering the 122-year-old constitution, including New South Wales, Tasmania, Queensland and South Australia. A successful referendum requires at least four of the six states to vote in favour along with national majority. Because of Australia's time zones, voting in Western Australia was still underway as it became clear the referendum was lost. Emotions ran high in the Yes campaign camp. Auntie Shirley Lomas is an Indigenous leader. I, I imagine today most of the visceral voters would have voted no, and that's because of an ingrained and deep-seated fear and they wouldn't use their intellect to vote yes. Australia's Indigenous citizens, who make up 3.8% of the country's 26 million population, have inhabited the land for about 60,000 years, but are not mentioned in the constitution. They are, by most socio-economic measures, the most disadvantaged people in the country. Many Indigenous people favoured the change, but some said it was a distraction from achieving practical and positive outcomes. The political opposition has criticised the measure, saying it is divisive, would be ineffective and would slow government decision-making.